Hey y'all, here's us for another Vintage Cube. The last one we played I think was a pretty fun uh, red-green mid-range with uh, swords and uh, lightning greaves. I actually really enjoyed playing that deck. So let's see what we open this time. Well, this is a nice one. There's a Mox Jet that I think we're just priced into. Um, but a lot of other cards I really wouldn't mind taking. I like Brymaz. I like Chandra. I like Birds of Paradise. I like Swords to Plowshare. Uh, and I'm a huge fan of Days. So uh, there's enough good cards. Something might come back. Let's see. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, six, seven. So... So there's going to be something good coming back from this pack. Um, it will be interesting to see what we get. But it's a mox, so we will just take it. Fast mana is uh, super good. Well, that's a Geist. Uh, it's not in our colors. I'm a huge, huge fan of Geist. Uh, not necessarily the most powerful card, but it's really fun for me. Uh, otherwise, in our color, there's Abyss. Uh, and Watery Grave that would kind of work with, you know, Mox Jet, especially if we were to do like um, Reanimator type deck. But, uh, and then there's also Snapcaster is, is just powerful. But I'll go ahead and take Geist. I like it. It's just fun. Ooh, well, here's a Grave Titan. So maybe the Geist plan isn't that great because... Uh, Grave Titan is so, so good. Uh, otherwise, there's Council's Judgment, which I think is the best white removal. But Grave Titan is really, really, really strong. It just wins games on its own. Okay, and now here's a Stoneforge Mystic um, to get swords, and Celestial Colonnade for a Geist, and also Mesmeric Fiend. Maybe we go white-black? Yeah, let, let's see if we can do that. Um, I'm a big fan of the Stoneforge Geist combo. And if that's where we are, then certainly Temple of Silence is where we want to be. There's also uh, an ultimate price. But yeah, let's see if we can make this work. Okay. Uh... None of these multi lands really do what we want, but there's a Sun Titan, so two Titans. Okay, let's go for that. I don't think I've played Black White in this cube yet. Seems like they don't have the Soren Markov type Planeswalkers that generally goes with this color combo. Mm -hmm. Titan's so strong. All the Titans are really good, but this one just has such a massive impact. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think here's Skin Render. There's also Flicker Wisp, which works with both Titan and, both Titans. Um, but I like the idea of uh, killing something. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in two picks, we'll be back to our first pick. Are we, are we live? Let's see. Yeah, we are. Guy's got what an Emrakul. <laughs> Enraged Zucchini. <laughs> Lucky Dragon, Snake Man. Let's 
So we haven't really seen any sort any equipment to go with our mystic. Let's put this in the sideboard for now. <coughs> Signet would be fantastic. I'd probably take that almost above almost anything. Obviously any good equipments. So here yeah, maybe we just take the Dark Confident. A bit scary with Titan and stuff. But he is an early play. Ooh, and there's a Brymaz, which is a very nice uh, wheel for us. All the tokens. I'm a huge fan of Brian Maz. I like that card. Okay, and there's a Tide Hollow Sculler, which I really like. I think, though, that this would be a deck where Spear of Heliod would really shine. I do like the disruption on this, but we have a lot of token makers. And here, Thalia. Yeah, let's, let's take the Bad Council's Judgment. And sure, I can take a city C. What else was in that geese pack that would have been more black white? Was I think Council's Judgment was in that pack, maybe? potential land yeah, and prism seems acceptable yeah, yeah that seems fine too okay now here some strong cards that are not really for us there's a force of will which I think is the best card um, sadly, I don't think that's going to be us this time around. Um, I'm also a fan of Strip Mine. And of course, Mishra's Workshop's a great build around card, although I find I'm off, often drafting it and then not making it work. Uh, so, really, I think for us here, it's Seeker, Ravages, Brain Maggot, and Necromancy. And the Brain Maggot cards do pretty well, I find. Um, we gave up the Sculler uh, for the Spear. But I, these kind of... Uh, I find these kind of cards work quite well. Ooh, okay, there's a Shambling Event, which I think we have to take. Uh, an Off-Color Signet. And Brutality Armageddon. Yeah, we'll just take the, the land. That's... Nice to have two lands so far. Given that we have Spear, you know, we're incentivized to err on the side of creatures. We haven't seen any equipment yet, so I don't know if the Stoneforge Mystic is going to be any good. Put this to the side as well right now. And Mox will count as a land. Here, a uh, recurring nightmare would be great. Uh, Bitter blossom would be great. <laughs> Gristle daddy. Wonder if we're, he's a little much to try to to get to. There's also just thought seize that's uh, just a strong a strong card in general. <laughs> uh, man, Gristlebrand is so good though. So much upside. Yeah, I'm going to take Gristlebrand if we can end up with a Reanimator package. Ooh, okay. So here's Packrat, 
um, who's a nice little mini game on his own. There's Heroes Downfall, and then there's the Sword of Fire and Ice. I'm going to take the Pack Rat because it's a discard outlet for like Gristlebrand and potential reanimation. Maybe we can wheel the Heroes Downfall. And now there's another sword, as well as Vamp Tutor and Edict. Here I think I'll... and Banishing Light. Oh, this is a good pack for us. Um, let's take the sword. That way we at least have one, you know, one equipment for a Mystic. Here, I think Necro, I don't think is really playable. Oh yeah, Elspeth is going to be great with a spear. Take that. Oh. And Godless Shrine, I think, is a must-take. I do like Lifebane Zombie, but now having three dual lands is really nice. Wow, and a Hero of Blade Hole is a very welcome addition. It's working out with the kind of tokens theme. Here there's, I suppose, Ravages and Seeker. Ravage is the higher potential upside, but we don't really have a ton of artifacts. Um, Seeker would be better against like uh, red type cards. Uh, let, let's take Ravages. I can see. Ooh, and Armageddon. And Crusader. Okay, I'm going to take the Crusader here. I don't see this being a double Armageddon deck. <laughs> pro black and pro green and pro, pro black and green. So <laughs> we are optimized against those two colors. Here, yeah, we'll just take the Relic Warder. It'd be fine against uh, Signet type things. <laughs> well, I wish I hadn't gotten rid of the Soren Markov type uh, Planeswalkers. I don't know if there's any black white Planeswalkers in this particular version of the cube. Okay, Student of Warfare, but I think the, the Hero's Downfall is more what we need. Get some removal in. Ooh, Resto and Edict, both good. Uh, take the Resto. And no one's playing black. Necro's bad. I guess we can put this on the sideboard. Okay. <coughs> What's the black white regular dual land called? It's not Bad Badlands. It's um, I forget. But let's see. Now there's a buried alive. We don't have any actual reanimation. There's the Sword of War and Peace. And a Kithian. I wonder if it's Kithian just for um. You know, given that we're kind of token heavy here. And then there's the sword. Yeah, I like sword. But I think Kithian is, is more us. Works with, we have so many like token makers and pack rat works with that. Ooh, okay. Uh, here, I, I'm liking this. There's uh, several interesting picks. There's Shriek Ma is very good. Um, Gideon, Bane Slayer. Uh, even Ever Flowing Chalice. And I feel like this would be the, exactly the kind of deck where Lightning Grease shines. Um, in fact, I kind of want to get the Lightning Greaves. Lightning Greaves on things like the Brymaz or the... The hero really make or titans make such a difference. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the Greaves, and I will be happy to wheel Bane Slayer, Shriek Ma, or Gideon. I think one of them will come, but I think this is a kind of deck where Greaves would really be good. 
Phantasmal Image, one of my favorite cards. Ooh, Toxic Deluge, that's a strong card. And then Exalted Angel for life gain. Hmm. You have to offset Dark Confidant. I think this is meh and generally tends to wheel. Uh, let's take the Toxic Deluge against the right deck. It's uh, absolutely brutal. Crucible of War looks for the Strip Mine. Grim Tutor is on the slow and clunky side. Oh, wow. Perfect. It's white or... There's also O-Ring. What do we have for sort of general removal? I, I think Spectral is actually pretty likely to wheel. Way more so than O-Ring. So let's take let's take O-Ring and hope to wheel the Spectral Possession. Um, figure Arena. I think we'll take the Face Fetters. Life gain, removal. Here, we got Necrotal. Well, we're gonna have to make some cuts. Ooh, Damnation. And Vindicate. I think it's gonna be Vindicate. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could take the Damnation and hope to wheel Vindicate. Um, that's certainly a thing. This is certainly the more powerful effect. Uh, and we do have O-Ring and Unmaking. Yeah, I'll take the... I'm going to try to wheel the Vindicate. Probably won't happen, but... Oh, and Balance and Hymn to Torak. Two of my favorite cards. Dang. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. They, so, nothing's going to wheel from this. Balance is the better card, but I think here we want Tim, him. Just because we're so creature-heavy... Huge fan of him. Okay, Braid of Life came back. Uh, probably not going to be playable, but I think it's the only remote chance of playing anything. Okay, so here I think the best for us is actually the Bane Slayer. I really like Greaves on a Bane Slayer. Okay, a Disenchant and an Exalted Angel. Uh, I think we want some way to interact. Bane Slayer is just so much better than Exalted Angel, although against a mono red deck. Alright, I'll take the Angel. Great, we got the Spectral Possession. None of these. Actually, Smokestack. This might be a smokestack deck. Or it might be a sightable thing there. And Wind Volish is. Okay. So this is one of these. We have so many cards. Let's just rebuild from scratch here. Um, we don't have enough to go either mono white or mono black. So let's go kind of low casting cost up and see what we like. Um, I like Kithian and Brain Maggot. Hit two and Greaves. The the Mox is obvious. Um, what else at two? I really like yep. Him to Torak and Pack Rat and Confidant. Also at two we're, we're playing the sword and the greaves, so we have to play the mystic for sure. And relic order, I'm not sure about. I'm also not sure about the spirit. Not that we're not playing them, just kind of going for the must play. So O ring, yes. Brian as. And this guy is more of a maybe. 
sword for sure. And Hero's Downfall for sure. Toxic Deluge, I'd rather side in. Uh, with this deck, I like Spear. And I'm going to count Spectral procession, procession as a three. At four, definitely Faith's Fetters. Do we play Smokestack here? Maybe we do. Maybe we do just play Smokestack. We have a lot of permanents and a lot of token makers. Three of the unmaking for sure. Um, so four, definitely hero, definitely Elspeth, and definitely Resto. I'm not sure about damnation. I think that's a possible side in along with Deluge. I'm gonna say Necrotal and Skin Render. And then I like both the Titans. And now that leaves us with, that's at 23 right there. Um, and other cards I'd like to add in are Gristlebrand. I like Sid, the idea of Sidisi because he's so good with tokens. Um, and Baneslayer. So those are three I'd like to possibly make room for. Um, So, maybe Confidant's a little bit aggressive. You can really lose a lot of life uh, with a Confidant. Uh, it's just that it carries a sword. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Maybe Gristlebrand is trying to a little too much here. Uh, between Sidisi and Baneslayer. I actually like Baneslayer better. Maybe we take out the skin render over Baneslayer. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're playing the prism, but we can play temple, vent, and shrine. And this is eight and five. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Black symbols: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Yeah. Sense. Hmm. So not playing Sidisi. Isn't Sidisi better than Baneslayer? We can kind of look for whatever we need. Maybe he is. All right, well, we'll try this and let's see how it goes.
right, we have a hymn to Torak. Always good. We have all our mana and pack rat, <coughs> which uh, sort of is a mini game in its own, in its own right. So we will keep. Swamp. A Jace. All right. Well, hymning helps Jace to mm. some degree. In case he has removal, I'd rather him to try and hit his removal. And worst comes to worst, I can always faith the Jace if I have to. Imperial Seal. Yow. So maybe now I str <laughs> The question is, do I him? I think I have to him here, right? Because... Otherwise, he's probably going to be able to play whatever he sealed for. And I can hope that it was kind of contingent on him having this other stuff. And he's only got two cards in hand. I think that chances are, if I try to like him, him to turn after, he's played a land, something I won't hit too. So I think it's now or never for me. Okay, so he's possibly Storm here. Cart being okay. So here's where I'd really like to uh, Faith's Feathers him. <coughs> Have instant or sorcery, so he'll be able to cast the seal. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. Uh, I, yeah, I wish I could face feathers him, but I can't. So next best thing is the Godless Shrine. Don't pay life and play pack rat. Oh wait. I could Faith's Fetters. No, because of the heartbeat. Oh, I could have Fetters him. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, that's painful. Shoot. Oh, I totally could have Fetters the Jason. That would have really changed things. Dang. Dang. Sloppy play. Sloppy play. Yep, did not read the card. Okay, well. I have to give him a chance at a draw seven for his seal. Ah. Oh. Quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yep. On the probe. No, on the seal. Okay. Yeah, that was just really bad. Mmm. Okay, so now I can O-ring. Maybe I can do both? Maybe I can O-ring and Faith's Fetters? Let's think here. I'll have eight mana, so yes, I should be able to do both. Okay. 
so let's uh, face fetters the Jace and O-Ring the Heartbeat. Sword would be good here. Mystic is bad. Scepter on. On what? <laughs> what, he didn't exile anything? Exile something on seal? No, I, it seems like he didn't do anything. I'm a bit confused. Uh, okay, let's count our mana. So five mana. Uh, maybe it's got to be equip sword and then cast something else, right? Yeah. I think I want to play Greaves and Brimaz, and then we are with Hero and hopefully win. Hopefully, he's dead to hero next turn. Freeze. He's got two more mana. Five. Okay. That could be a thing. Storm two turnabout. Yep, turnabout. Storm three. So now 
uh, what, Time Spiral? Time Spiral would do it. Tutor, okay. Four. for brain freeze uh, yeah I guess a mind's desire would be the either mind's desire or time spiral I think I was storm four, time spiral, right? No, thirst. I tutored for thirst, okay. Now what? Mind freeze, okay. So I think I can kill him if I stack correctly. Um, so playing Mystic. No, I have both my swords. Might as well just do the vent, I think. He could have a day. He could have a spell pierce. He's got no cards in hand. Uh, so let's just think about this logically. I think it's just play hero, and this is going to be enough to kill him. with everyone. So we want the deepest on the stack is make everything, okay, yeah, he just conceded. Okay, so against Storm, we don't care about creature removal, but definitely want targeted removal. So Something like Bane Slayer seems not that great. Ne oh, Necrotal seems bad for sure. Let's put in. And Skin Render also bad. Toxic Deluge, anything else that's not. Okay, Brain Maggot mm -hmm. would be very good. Ham is good. Spear mm -hmm. is probably good. Resto is okay. Against him, actually, I think the Ravages is going to be strong. Smokestack will also be strong. Oh, and Spirit. Yeah, Spirit's going to be very good. And Lean in Reddit Warder would be good. Right. Uh, so less good. Maybe this guy's not as... Maybe Kithian isn't as good. He's sort of creature-oriented. Um, I was going to say Sidisi also seems good. So we can like Sidisi for Ravages or something. Or maybe Bean Slayer less good. And... I wonder if we take out the Dark Confidant. I think he is good. Do we take out the Mystic O-Ring? 
Do we to even take out the spear? Are we that quick? Maybe it's just resto. Yeah, maybe resto is more good against creatures. Okay. Hmm. It's gonna have to be a mulligan. Okay, well, we have Pack Rat. And then we can scry this to the top for turn one him. Maybe we start with Pack Rat and then do turn two him, and then turn three Mega Rat. Especially since what could he. There's always that chance of getting, you know, his lands or something. Looks really... Uh, the heart, you know, maybe he's going to go for, like, heartbeat or something. Well, if it's, like, a heartbeat... <clears throat> huh. I'm not quite sure what we want to do. Uh, so we can him him, but then he has whatever he sealed next turn. Or we just start with, say, like Dark Confidant, try to get to draw cards, and then him him next turn. Let's him now. Let's him now. Maybe those were his only lands, you know. Okay, he plays Jace. Alright, we can brain mag at him now. Tendrils or Seasons Past? I think we want to take the Tendrils. Or Seasons Past. And yeah, we'll be done. Hadn't him do is gonna play the Jace anyway, right? So okay, uh, so here we can play both Confidant and Rat. Okay, so next turn you can recur his seal. Tutor at this point it would probably be for a damnation, I think. Right? Yeah, it would have to be for damnation, I think. It's always yield. So 
let's attack. And then we'll decide. And also Elspeth and plus to do like more damage, six, but no, I, I think I want to get the get the damnation in. Yeah. Sure. Hold on. Did you want to go somewhere or what did you want to do? Okay, we'll take off. Okay. And then we'll go to the game. If you want to, if you want to go get something, I'm happy to let you guys do it. But or it's a friend of mine. Alright, so let's and see what happens. Okay, he blocks with that. What did he have? Tendrils? Yeah, let's make sure he, he doesn't get that. Uh, let's just pay and exploit. And I think the pack rat's a little too man intensive, so we'll just we can exploit the uh, pack rat. Yeah, we'll sacrifice the rat. So one option is Ravages, another is Smokestack, which is a bit slow. I have to think that he's going to um, redo his seal next turn, right? So yeah, redo the seal, I think the best thing we can do is uh, Ravages. Great if you play the land. Okay. Plus the Jace. Badlands, great. Okay, now he's gonna seal. I assume he's gonna seal. And then we Ravages, and that should lock it up. swamp so let's just go ahead and ravage okay, we'll play a swamp all right won the match go ravages All right, here we are for match two. Let's take a look at um, if we want to change our deck up. I'm thinking maybe Baneslayer, switch it out for Sidisi. Just for a little more um, uh, flexibility. And... Slayer is nice. 
Um, but this would let us sort of like find greaves or swords or yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, all right, let's try that. There's a turn one pack rat, or turn two pack rat, I should say. So we'll keep. Black green already. That makes me think our Mirren Crusader would be good in the sideboard. Okay. Now let's play Brain Maggot. Oh, Winter Lord. That could be a little bit brutal. if we just take the elf here and as long as it's, does Tezzeret tap Let, let's uh let's take a look here um no he finds artifacts he doesn't tap them uh I think that Winter Orb hoses us the most because Pack Rat could be really good against him. So let's take the the orb and s snip their hand here. Okay. Okay. As we can find skull clamp. Lotus bloom. All right. So he's got one more land. Uh, I think that's fine. I'd rather. O-ring something that'll kind of stop the pack rats. Yeah, we won't attack. Taz here. Signet, okay. And Temple. I wonder if we just uh, O ring the Tez. Otherwise, we've got Elf and Thrag Tusk, and I think we can beat Thrag, beat those. Um, first. Um, I don't think we need, I'm going to put that on the bottom. And I just 
just O-ring that, or do I make a pack rat? Yeah, he's gonna just keep drawing cards, so I think we want to O-ring this. It's sort of... We don't need to attack immediately with pack rat, you know, we can kind of longer term do it. comes Thrag Tusk. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just take it. Sidisi. Yeah, with Sidisi we can eventually get a, <coughs> a Titan or something like that. Um, <coughs> Here I think we're just gonna necrotal the Thrag Tusk. Maybe actually Fate's Fetters on the Thrag Tusk is the best move. Um, because then we don't have to deal with a 3-3. Yeah, let's do that. <coughs> it avoids us being kind of two for one. in hand and what uh, underground sea did he put an elf and something else whatever this is the signet okay So I could start making rats. I could attack with a rat, and then if he blocks, you know, I discard something. Or I could just make a spectral possession, and then uh, Sidisi next turn for like Titan or something like that. That seems better. That's spectral possession. No, let's get. Let's attack first. And threaten with the, the rat. Okay, so maybe <laughs> now I kind of regret that. Uh, Kind of not that great, huh? Yeah, that was a, a poor play, I think. Could also just discard both of these and make have three threes be hitting pretty hard. Six? No, because then I can look for like a Titan or something that's way better. Also Sidisi for the spear. That might be really good against him, actually. Bill. 
powerful strokes, okay? Hmm. So, I think I want to just attack with the spirits and then Sidisi and find like one of the swords, I think. Yeah, so let's do that. So, a sword sounds really nice. They discard cards and untap. But can I do better than that? Well, it's a bit underpowered compared to, say, either the Grave Titan or the Sun Titan. Ooh, maybe Sun Titan, because Sun Titan, then I can start discarding things to Pack Rat. Um. Yeah, let's go for the sword. His strikes is going to get annoying. And I want to make sure I have, like, you know. Okay. Now let's play this on the Okay. <coughs> okay. So we definitely want the Mirror and Crusader. Uh, yes, we definitely want that. Maybe Smokestack isn't that great against him. He does have quite a few artifacts, so I like the idea of leaning Relic Warder. Maybe instead of the Spectral Possession. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Turn one Kithian, and then maybe a him, but probably not. That's fine. Okay, great. Now the sword. Small brain maggot. Yep, that's annoying. So let's take a screenshot here. He's got his own brain maggot. And he's got Tez and Basalt Monolith. Um, well, I suppose we can let him have the Brain Maggot because if he takes the sword, then we can just anguish it. So, 
Maybe basalt monolith is kind of the scariest thing. Yeah. We're not in a big hurry for the sword. I mean, we can. He took the unmaking. Okay. So, if we draw black, we probably him. Great. Okay. So that's going to hit Tez and something. Too good not to do right now. Taz an Island, okay. And we'll just pause there. And if we draw a land now, we can play an equip sword. Otherwise, we'll just play it. <coughs> okay, spear and sword. be able to equip and um, play spear or both two three so we can equip and play spear and still on tap it's great okay Well, that went well. Let's see how match three goes. Uh, yeah, let's keep it again. Seemed like a fairly flexible start. Possibility to turn three Bree Maz on roids that I like, so we'll keep. Okay, black again. Okay, now really, really, I'm going to ask my deck for a land. It's going to suck if I don't get one. Just run into a mana leak here. Clouds get come on land. Come on, deck. Yes, rewarded. Still might get dazed. So Spectral Possession is next. No, oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. <coughs> Maybe we just do it anyway, though. 
let him kill our thing just so we get more more attacks in. What do we do? Seems bad. It seems like it would be better to draw another land and then resto or faith's fetters. Because this guy can eventually run away with it. Otherwise I'm trading this and I do have five tokens. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, no, let's, uh, there's a good chance I don't draw a land. If I don't draw a land and we're kind of doing nothing, yeah, I'd rather have this guy on defense. Okay. Okay, there's a Jace. And O Ring, okay. Uh, so I think here we just O Ring the Nighthawk. Let's sort of try to. Bounce my own ring. Bounce the greaves. A soldier, okay. Instant or sorcery. Okay, there's no instance or sorcery, so that's a nice, um, miss there. Time walk. Okay. Time walk will do it. Corpse dance. Sword, okay. Nice. Yeah, can't do anything about that. The thing is, if I face Fetter as the sword, he is still, it's still gonna be equipped, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's not super great for us. Um, I could resto the Brimaz. That doesn't seem great. If I attack with everyone, including if I the hasty resto, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and he'll be down to one. That seems like that's gotta be good, right? Mm -hmm. 
Although then he's definitely gonna be able to like mm. retime walk again, which would be bad for us. So maybe we can, and that's a bit greedy. Yeah, I think what we have to do is actually face the Jace, just so that he uh, doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't get his time walk back. Yeah, we might be able to just like attack through. If he's got the pro white. Okay. So black blue, sort of value. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think we want the Crusader uh, and the Relic mm -hmm. Warrior. Mm -hmm. Even the Spirit seems good. Maybe Necrotol, maybe Smokestack is less, also less good here, but and we just want to be more aggro y. This is kind of a Nambo with our own Dark Confidant, though, right? We could take out this to put in the. The spirit. Mm. And I like Crusader and Relic Warder. What could we take out? Take out maybe like Necrotol and maybe Spears a little on the clunky end. Okay, let's try that. <coughs> okay, we have a Kithian, and we may or may not have a turn to re Relic Warder. nice to us so here I think yeah we just uh, mm -hmm. well let's think mm -hmm. actually I, I'm thinking maybe I should wait on the relic warder and just get his um, if he plays like a sword get that because we're gonna have the Muran Crusader which is gonna be an eventual huge problem so yeah I'm okay with just playing this Untapped. Not yet. So no. Okay, so I'm going to on the kind of the more slower route here. Sacrificing early damage for, you know, the possibility of a much more annoying uh, artifact, like a sword. if he tries to attack with something. Dark Ritual, uh-oh. There's the sword. Okay. I'm very glad I waited there. Ooh, very nice. Hmm. So 
So we can him and order. So let's him first in case he has days. Island swamp, okay. And now let's order. Right? Okay, another Jace. Okay, he has to pick a Jace. minus two minus zero nice okay uh, kind of scary he can get more more scary stuff uh, so let's see if I attack with all three I can flip my Kithian which I think mm -hmm. I want if he blocks Kithian, I make him indestructible, so we're fine. And if he blocks Lean in Relic Warder, I can Angel it, which is not. Does that work? Let's see. So he'll leave. He'll get his sword back, uh, and then I think I can re-exile it. Right. So yes, we're pretty sure that works. So let's attack with everyone on two Jace. Hopefully this works. Okay, so let's get indestructible till end of turn. We can also pack that. this too Untap. until next turn something gets indestructible mm -hmm. untap it mm -hmm. up to one target creature attacks and I just make mm -hmm. it indestructible so it's just plus Gideon mm -hmm. I think there's no reason to mm -hmm. uh, make one of our guys indestructible right because he doesn't have any uh, removal down there mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, if we can draw a land, um, that's going to be pretty nice <laughs> with uh, for Grave Titan. Hopefully, seal it away. I wonder if maybe this was someone I wanted to side wrath, uh, sorry, uh, get in against. Okay, Dark Ritual. So he's willing to lose his Jace for, for what? Gristlebrand? Grave Titan. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, how do we do this? You can force his Grave Titan to attack into my DC while I search for maybe the sword. Yeah, because I will eventually draw a... Okay, let's do that. And then I want to sack... I don't want him to have his... His Light and Shadow Sword. So... I think the plan is... Crusader kills Jace. Then... Uh, we play Gideon... Plus Gideon... Sadisi exploits the pack rat looking for sword. We block um, Titan with Sadisi. Titan dies. He now has four zombies, and we can manage that. Okay. Or do I just exploit the Sadisi and give him indestructible? Yeah, that's better, right? Because then if he attacks, uh, he runs into it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do that. So, first attack the Jace. Make sure he just doesn't die. Okay, just get rid of that thing. Okay, so now... A DC. Sacrificing the pack rat. <coughs> and we're going to search for, I'm thinking, for a, uh, a sword here, right? Because the pro black is going to be just too good. And we can cast it for sure and equip. So, yes. Okay, and now. Target creature. It's a DC. Gets uh, indestructible with Death Touch. Okay. And then we've got Sword on the uh, Crusader that should be fairly problematic. Tap all my lands, right? Mm -hmm. So, play the sword. <laughs> and I get to do it twice. It's nasty. Too bad he doesn't have two cards. This guy on the defense here. <clears throat> and now I can play Resto, actually. Ooh, that's pretty good. And find like and I could sack for something else like Sun Titan mm -hmm. yeah that's strong isn't it um, but 
what do I exploit? No, I want. Let's not do that because there's not. I want to keep all these creatures. I could just exploit himself, I suppose, but I want the death touch. So no, we'll, we'll just stay as is. Uh, I have to say, I didn't think that this deck was going to go 3-0, but uh, it was pretty effective. Uh, so thanks for watching.